Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut, and in this video what we're going to be doing is showing you how to install custom login screens on your Linux machine. Now, there is a couple layers to this. The first layer is going to be your display manager. For this we're going to be using LightDM, and then we have our greeter under that, which we are using LightDM because it allows us to use these greeters, and they're really just custom GUIs for our login screen. And then under that, some of the greeters allow um, us to install certain themes and then even further those themes have their own customization settings so in this video we're going to be going through all of that uh, I'm going to be using pop OS to do this because I'm assuming a lot of you are running pop OS but I will note before we get into this this is significantly easier to do in a arch based system such as Manjaro so we are in our system and you can see I have a article right here on techhut.tv this will go over all of the commands and everything that we're going to be doing. So it has Debian-based commands and Arch-based commands, so this should work for just about anybody. But getting right into it, the very first thing we want to do is do a sudo apt update, just to make sure our system is up to date. And once it does that, now is probably the perfect time to back up your system, so I'd recommend you open up Time Shift and create a snapshot. If you don't know what I'm talking about or you don't have that set up, I actually have a video that you could check out on how to do that because uh, you are going to be changing quite a few things and it's just good to have that backup just in case if something happens. And once you do that, you're going to want to go ahead and actually get the LightDM package. So that's just sudo apt git install LightDM, enter. I already have it so it's not going to need to install. But when you do install it, you're going to have a window come up that looks just like this. So it will say a display manager is a program that provides, it'll go over all that. And you're just going to hit tab, OK, and then select LightDM, just like that. And then it will configure that. Now if you already have LightDM installed and like you didn't know it and you got this zero upgraded, you could go ahead and run that command to make sure that it is selected. If you're running Arch, it's just pacman install lightdm, and then you just run this command right here to force the service to run. And now that we have lightdm, what we're going to do now is actually install one of those greeters. Now for this tutorial, I'm going to be going over WebKit 2 because that is probably one of the most customizable. But down here, if you scroll down, I have other lightdm greeters, and there are a ton to choose from. A lot of them are from different projects and different distributions. For example, if you are running Pop! OS and you want this to have absolutely no issues and this to go as smoothly as possible, you could just go with one of these uh, Ubuntu greeters. For example, you have uh, Artica, which is the Unity greeter. You have Kylin, which is from the Ubuntu Kylin project. All these look good and they will work perfectly fine. But for this, we're going to be going over the WebKit 2 just because of all the different customization options. So we're going to go over here to Debian and like I said this is significantly easier to do in Arch because it's a, just simply two commands. But here first we're going to want to add a repository. So we're going to right click paste this in here and then we're going to do that again with this curl command. So copy this, control C, paste it in there, enter. It's going to add that command and now you're going to want to update, but I think I accidentally pasted that in there so it already updated. And then we're going to go sudo apt install lightdm webkit to greeter. Go ahead and hit enter. And then when that's all done, we're going to set this greeter to be our default. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down here to setting default greeter and then copy this right here. This is the sudo nano command that will take us into the configuration. So paste that in here, hit enter, and this is the etc lightdm lightdm config file. If you're running on pop OS or Ubuntu or anything like that, a lot of the times you have to create this config file yourself. If you're running an Arch, you don't have to do that. It has all of everything already available. But this is really easy to do, so all we're going to do is copy and paste this right here. So paste that in, the c default greeter dash session equals name and the name is going to be whatever greeter you want to use. For this example, I'm going to be going with the light 
uh, light DM WebKit to greeter. So once you put that in, all you're going to want to do is go control O, which will write out a file. Make sure it says what you originally put in. So etc light DM light DM config, hit enter, control X to close that out. I will note that there is a command you could do to actually list out all your greeters installed. It's right here, right under the installation command. So if we paste that in there, you can actually see all the greeters I have available, so you can pick any of these. So what I'm actually gonna do now is go ahead, uh, actually let's cancel, and let's go sudo reboot, and reboot our system to make sure that the new WebKit greeter is gonna be active. I do apologize for the resolution. This is gonna be in a virtual machine, so it's probably only gonna be on half of the screen here. All right, and you can see we are loaded up. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger just so you can see it better. Um, this is what it looks like on a larger screen that will look much better, but this is the default WebKit greeter. We're gonna go ahead and log in and then give this a theme. So right under the section of setting up the default greeter, I have recommended WebKit to themes. And here are four of them that I personally like. There's a good amount more than this. For this example, I'm gonna be doing the glorious theme. So I don't have the instructions on how to theme every single one here, but most of these, if you go ahead and open this up in a new tab, you can find the instructions on the GitHub pages. So you see the installation right here. Now I know I sound like a broken record here, but this is significantly easier to do on Arch or Manjaro because you could just go into the Arch repo, type in the name of the theme and install it. But we're going to do this on Pop! OS because I want to make sure you all know how this is done. So what we're going to do is go and download the latest repository. So for this, we're going to go under clone the repo route. I'm going to open up this download here. I'm going to go ahead and download the uh, .zip file here. And let's open it up with our archive manager. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and extract this to my home directory for now. Sure, let's show the files. And there it is right there. Now what we're going to want to do is go ahead and copy this over to the actual theme folder. If I go to the GitHub page, we can see right over here is the directory that we're going to want to paste this into. So we're going to go ahead and open up our terminal. And then from here, we're going to just do sudo. Um, the reason I put it into the home directory is because that's the default directory in terminal. So sudo cp-r and then the directory that we're going to be copying. So I'm going to kind of cheat here and go to rename, control C, control V. So that is the directory right there that we're going to be copying over. Uh, go space and then we're going to copy it to this directory, the user share light DM webkit themes glorious. So copy that over, paste it in, and then I hit enter, type in my password, and then it should be successfully copied. And we can actually go ahead and check that out. So let's go to other locations, computer, uh, user, share, and here I'm gonna go to light DM WebKit, themes, and then you can see the glorious theme is right here and all the files. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and set that as our default theme for WebKit. So to do that, what we're gonna to want to do is go to sudo nano and then edit the configuration file for WebKit. So we're gonna to go to the terminal, open this up here, paste in this command, hit enter, type in your password. And then this is the configuration file what we're going to want to do is go ahead and scroll down to the WebKit theme. So you can see that right here. So we're going to go up. Let's go this way. Boom, boom, up, up, up. And then over here. And delete out this name. And then we're going to paste in the phrase glorious. Now this might be different depending on the theme that you're actually installing. It might have some prefixes like light DM, WebKit, theme, dash, whatever the theme's name is but I went on the GitHub page and they told me to go with Glorious, so that is what I am going with. So now, just like last time to save this, we're gonna go Control O, Enter, Control X, and now we are gonna do another sudo reboot to see if this worked. 
So you can see we are now booted in and this is what it looks like. Like I said, last time we booted into the system, this is a small resolution. It will look much better on your display. So with this glorious theme, you just hit escape or you can swipe up to go ahead and get to this and you can see how good this looks. It just looks absolutely awesome. You can go down here to select whatever uh, desktop environment you want to run. Uh, if you go up over here, you have this sidebar. So this is how you switch your account. So if you had multiple users, you could do it through here. Sessions, that's the uh, desktop environment. You could change your background through here. So they actually have quite a bit of backgrounds. And on that GitHub page, you can see ways to go ahead and add your own. But let's say I just wanted the default pop background. And you might not think that looks good because of the blur, but you can just go under themes. And right here, blur strength, let's set that to, let's just say zero, apply. And then that's how you do that. And there's other settings here. It's kind of hard to see with this background. Let's change this real quick to something like this. So you can see this a little bit better. Uh, back, themes. And you have other things like the background foreground color and opacity foreground color, blur strength, the animation speed. If you go down here, you can set keyboard shortcuts. So the modifier key, uh, to access the sessions, sidebar, power, accounts, close and back keys. So let's go ahead and log into our system just so you can see what this looks like. And it, you, you saw that message. And that's really all there is to it. You just install LightDM. You could go ahead and install greeters. And there's way more than just this WebKit one that I was talking about. There's the elementary OS one. There's the Ubuntu Kylin one. There is a absolute wide variety that you can go with to get that exact look you prefer. And if there's no greeters by themselves that you actually like, that's when you could go ahead and get the web kit and start looking for themes and really getting a deep dive into the customization potential. Down below in the description, there will be a link to that article with all the different commands, all my suggested themes and greeters. Uh, greeters are really easy to change. I recommend you check as many as you can out. They don't take up much room and most of them are very, very lightweight, so it doesn't really matter how much you have installed. So the article that you saw in this video will be linked down below, so you go ahead and copy and paste all the commands. Make this incredibly easy for you. Like this video if you enjoyed it. You know what to do if you did not. I hope you have a wonderful day, and goodbye.